Good morning, everybody. Hello. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We're doing the ornament reveal today. We're doing a joyful night tonight, so it's a great day to celebrate. We're happy to have all of you here in the Culture Center, and I get the honor of introducing the greatest governor that we've ever had, not only in the state of West Virginia, but in the universe, and the ultimate Santa Claus of all. <laughs> Mr. Jim. Justice, Governor of the great state of West Virginia. Welcome to Governor, you all on your feet. Give a big applause. Okay, well, something. You know, it's an incredible time of year. And Randall underdressed today, didn't he? <laughs> And we're joined by lots and lots and lots of great folks. But most importantly, we're joined by these incredible children. You know, what a time of year. What a celebration. You know, not only all the great things that's going on in the state is, are off the chart, but if you're really, really, really fair, you're going to step back and just say, what I thought, you know, almost eight years ago, seven years ago, when I walked in here on the first day, and I've thought it my whole life, there isn't any place better than West Virginia. There's really not. And all you kids understand this. Understand it really, really clearly. And it's just this, as we go forward, we want more and more and more opportunities for you. We want more and more goodness for you. With all that being said, if we can just do just that, perpetuate them. And if we do that in this great state, we're going to be better and better and better and better. You know, all you got to do, all in the world you have to do is just go outside. Go to a school. You know, I'm a coach. I'm able to go to schools all the time. But go to a school and absolutely just do just this. Pull the third grade out of the, out of the, where the teacher's not right there, just for a second, and say, what do you think of Miss Lily? And you know what they're going to say? They're going to say, oh, gosh, we love Miss Lily. And then go in and absolutely sit with the teacher and say, tell me about your students. And you'll see the love like you can't imagine. And then go downtown and go to Cameron Elementary or something like that. And don't go necessarily to the school, but go downtown and grab three or four strangers and say, what do you think of Cameron Elementary? How important is Cameron, Cameron Elementary to your community? And it will be astound me if it's not, oh, we love our school. Well, just think about it. That's just one teeny little component. And how in the world could we ever think everything's all bad? If honestly those kids love their teachers, and the teachers love them, and the community loves its school, and is really, really proud of it, that's only one piece. Go out and look, just look, and open your eyes. We just went through a deer season. Just think of all the beauty and all the unbelievable stuff that's out there in West Virginia for us to hunt and fish and do all the great things that we do. Think about all of our natural resources and all the great things we do. Think of all the mountains, all the greatness that God above has given us. And we need to be proud of us and literally let the world know, and they are, the world is awakening to just how good we are in every way. There is no place better. And we're so blessed, it's unbelievable. And with all that being said, please just remember what I just said. Blessed. 
blessed by God above. Absolutely, and this year and every year, please remember what Christmas is all about. Christmas, Christmas, the birth of Jesus. Absolutely, Christmas. And Christmas this year needs to be even more special than the one last year, and the one that's coming up will be more special than the ones behind that. Absolutely, baby dog. <coughs> and I say this over and over, but baby dog and I are on the same diet. <coughs> and baby dog loves chicken nuggets, don't you, baby dog? <laughs> and I got to tell you this real quick, but, uh, you know, at night, baby dog will be right in bed with us. And she'll be laying right up against either Kathy or me. And if she's lying up against Kathy, then and, uh, Kathy wants to move in the bed, she'll say, baby dog, you got to move up. Baby dog, please move up. Baby dog, you know, because she's a little difficult to move at times, especially if she's really sneeze, snoozing. But the comical thing from my end is if you roll over at three o'clock in the morning and you just have to wake up and her face is right, right there. And I say, how you doing, baby dog? <laughs> you know, but, uh, but she's brought a lot of joy to us. And I'll tell you what the biggest thing she's brought, and I don't know how it could be any more simple than just this. She makes you smile. And she loves everybody. Doesn't matter if you're young or old, or rich or poor or black or white or God forbid a Democrat or Republican. <laughs> she loves everybody. Well, literally, just think of one thing, especially at this time of year. Literally, if we could just do just that, make other people smile and love everybody, wouldn't it be one whale of a lot better world? Absolutely, remember, just remember what Christmas is all about. And now, our first lady is going to do something that is really special. She's going to, are you going to do that now? Yes. Are we ready? Yes, ma'am. She's going to unveil <laughs> this year's ornament. And I haven't seen it. So, you know, this is, this is going to be really special. And uh, if you want to talk, you've got to have this, Kevin. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome from little old Raleigh County, the sweetest, sweetest person got put on this earth, our First Lady, Kathy Comer Justice. Ma'am First Lady. Governor, thank you, every, everyone. Um, it's great to be here today. We look forward to this all year. And uh, the mansion staff has literally, you know, we start working in July on this. And uh, Katie and Vicki do a wonderful job doing all this. And we have a new person with us, Jocelyn. So this will be, she'll just kind of fit right in and do everything. Um, we wanted this year's ornament to be, you know, we have a, um, it's been like a, something special in West Virginia every year. And we wanted, to, we've always made like from West Virginia material, whether it be coal, whether it be steel or any wood uh, material like quilting and things. So we've done about everything. But this year I wanted something special that was really special about really what the heart of all of our communities and schools is. It's all about the children. It's all about trying to help them, make them feel great, and let them shine. Whatever they do, let them shine. Let them be so bright that no one can ever put their flame out. We want them to know that they can just do everything that they want to. If they want to achieve something, there's nothing holding them back now. I mean, if you all can just be whatever you want to be, and I want you all to remember that. And I want you to be proud of yourselves, always. Do you all understand what I'm saying, to be proud? Okay, always do that. Okay, and 
Uh, it's so pretty to look around in here and see everything. And uh, Randall and his staff do a wonderful job. And he uh, he's a little bit wacko sometimes, but you know we put up with him. But this is great. And uh, right, look at this. He's standing behind me. That's not a good sign, is it? Not some of the time. A lot of the time. Right. Uh -huh. But I'll tell you, I gotta say this, please. I can say there is no one, no one that loves the arts and the culture of this great state more than Randall Reed Smith. There's no way. There's no way. And on top of all that, he is stuck on on all the time. Oh. And I love it. And Kathy loves it. She totally to death. He is our curator and, honest to God, the best of the best of the best of the best. Y'all got to give him a big round of applause. So I mean, if you want to go somewhere and find out about someone, ask Randall because he'll give you the scoop on everything. We want to thank the food today from uh, the Mansion Culinary staff. I see some guys over there. Thank you, guys. You all always do great. And uh, again, thank you for letting us just be here, and thank you for coming and being a part of this. Now we have the big ornament. I think you'll love it. We're going to introduce the artists. We have a Tamarack artist here, John DeMule. John did the glass work. And the best part of today, I get to say this, from the village of Barbersville, my hometown, our, our artist who painted uh, is Christy Saunders. They're going to come up and tell you about the ornament real quick, and then we're going to unveil it. Okay? That's what it says right here. You've got to come talk about it. So thank you, Randall. Um, what did I not do wrong? Right? You're up there wrong? <laughs> well, we just had a few more people we wanted to thank. And okay. We want to thank the staff from um, this department, from Randall's team. They always help us with so many events, and, um, and this is one of the special ones that we love to do. And um, as the First Lady said, a lot of research went into this ornament. Uh, and she is doing the culmination of communities and schools, um, her primary initiative. So it's focused on children. Um, but Katie on our team found, uh, we, this one was gonna be a dual artist ornament. We've never had that before. And it was a little bit complex, but we stuck with it. And we finally, finally, uh, we got to where we wanted to be. And it took a lot of manpower and hours on both the part of Christy and uh, John. So, uh, John DeMell, many of you may know from Tamarack. And if you buy an ornament today, there's an insert that tells a little bit about each artist, but John has his, his uh, studio at Tamarack. And uh, people can come there and actually make a piece of glass, which is nice for people traveling through West Virginia uh, to get a little um, arts and crafts when they're on vacation. And then Christy, as Randall says, in Barbersville, and she is a lawyer by daytime, and uh, she is focusing more and more on her artwork. And Katie uh, Morris on our staff found Christy, and we're thankful for that. But uh, I know John is a, a man of few words, but John, come on up. Just say a little something. No, I just wanted to say thank you very much, and I appreciate the First Lady choosing me again. I did it two years ago. And it's an honor and a blessing to do the ornament again. Um, working with the staff has been great too. We're buddies. <laughs> <laughs> and my family. Thank you to my family for being here. Yeah. And uh, well, John, thank you're you. an incredible artist. You represent West Virginia so well. And then Miss Christy Saunders, uh, the lovely Christy, come on up. Um, I said, Christy, how do you look so beautiful when you've been hand painting? 500 ornaments day and night, but Christy, tell us a little bit about what you did. So, um, I'll start kind of from the beginning. Uh, about August, I got an email, and in the subject line, it said, um, do you happen to have time, or do you have time for a quick call about a project for First Lady Justice? And I thought, okay, and I was kind of scrolling past that, thinking that's spam. Um, but then I thought about it and I, I came back and I'm so glad I did. And um, the staff has been great to work with. Getting ornaments delivered, um, you guys don't understand the work that goes on behind the scenes that the staff has really done. John did a great job on these ornaments. They are absolutely beautiful. 
Um, we went through several iterations on design as, as to what we were gonna, I was gonna paint, and um, every one of them is hand painted and signed. John signed as well. Um, and, and they are numbered, and they are, they are something that I'm very proud of. And um, I'd like to thank the staff. I, as I thought about how am I gonna paint 500 ornaments, I thought, uh, this, okay, I've bit off more than I could chew. And um, my, my fellow Jeff helped me. Um, he, he made me these boards for me to set the ornaments on. And so I would paint them and he would help me carry them back and forth from the kitchen to the bedroom and wrap them up and, and so here they are for you guys to enjoy. So this has been such a, a privilege and such an honor. So I thank you. Christy, um, we look for you at art shows all over West Virginia. So thank you so much. Um, and now, finally, and Randall will properly introduce, but thank you to the Children's Theater of Charleston. We're excited to see your number uh, from your upcoming show, Scrooge. And then I want um, to echo the First Lady's thanks to the Governor's Mansion staff. Who, uh, who work tirelessly to uh, see that the mansion is decorated beautifully. So if you have time, come and see the governor's mansion. Uh, we'd love to show it to you. Randall? All right, are you all ready? Madam First Lady, are you ready? Okay, Katie's gonna help you over here. Vicki, we're gonna have the unveiling of the Christmas ornament. Right over there, man, by the tree. And it's got your favorite West Virginia tartan plaid wrapped around it. Okay. John, oh yeah, John, please, Christy, please get over here. Five, four, three, two, one. And there we go. sell in the gift shop. It is the only place where you can get the ornament this year, and there are only 500. So I think they're $35. Go ahead and make yourself at home. And uh, before we have uh, come to the refreshments, we have a wonderful performance <coughs> of the Children's Theater from here in Charleston. We're going to do a great scene for us, and after their little performance, and you're all more than welcome, come up and say hello to the governor and baby dog, get a picture, and uh, have some refreshments. Thank you all for coming out. This is the biggest crowd we've ever had. It's wonderful. Thank you all. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> 